Hello class, my name is Yang Fu and I'm here to explain how to calculate the cell potentials and determine the spontaneity of redox reactions. Uh, please bear with my accent. First of all, we need to understand the difference between galvanic cells and electrolytic cells, which are two electrochemical cells. Um, I have all the difference listed in this table right here. Galvanic cells produce electricity, lose electrons, and is spontaneous. While electrolytic cells consume electricity, gain electrons, and is non-spontaneous. So if, if we look at the picture down here, this is the typical uh, galvanic cells, and this is electrolytic cells. Um, uh, this picture is typically how a battery works, so it happens spontaneously. And this is how a charger works, like how, when we're charging a battery, this is how it works. So ease, both of the electrochemical cells is all like this graph, right? Uh, this right here is all anode sending electrons to cathode either way. The difference between galvanic cells and electrolytic cells is that it has a, the, a negative anode or a positive anode. So if we have, if we have a negative anode and a positive cathode, it means it's, this reaction is happened spontaneously um, because we are s the negative anode, it means there's a lot of electrons on this side. So it just automatically sending the electrons through the wire to the positive cathode. However, if it's a, we have a positive anode and a negative cathode right here, it means we have a lot of electrons on this side, and to send elect to send electrons from or from already like there's not a lot of electrons this side. There's a lot of electrons that side. We need to use which is that's right here. We need to use electricity to make this non-spontaneous reaction happen. So um, from the class, uh, we know the potential, or we can call the voltage or potential is the E naught. Um, the potential of a cell is equals to the potential of cathode minus the potential of anode. So for a spontaneous reaction, we have a positive cathode minus with or subtract a negative anode. So either way, the E naught of a spontaneous reaction will be greater than zero. And on this side, we have a negative cathode. If this is already negative, if you look at here, and we have a positive cathode. Sorry, I mean positive anode. So a negative number subtract a positive number. This E naught, it will be always less than zero for a non-spontaneous reaction. So as you can see here, and we learned from previous class, um, if it's spontaneous, it gives free energy is less than zero. And if it's not spontaneous, it gives free uh, energy is greater than zero. So this is the relationship right here. Uh, personally, I like to use this formula right here. Um, the potential of cell is equal to the potential of uh, reduction. Uh, reaction and plus the potential of oxidation reaction. I'll explain it um, with, the exam with the example down here. So let's look at the example here. Um, determine st uh, its standard potential at 25 degrees uh, Celsius uh, and whether the reaction is spontaneous at standard conditions. So the reaction is right here. Um, copper with uh, aqueous copper with um, solid aluminum, uh, aluminum forms uh, aluminum uh, ions and solid copper. This is a very typical um, single displacement reaction, also known as a redox reaction. So uh, first of all, for me to solve these questions, uh, personally, I like to write the half reactions first. Um, uh, sorry, so to come to as a half reaction is actually down here. These are the half reactions. Uh, this is the potential 
um, from the chart. So if we uh, go to the, sorry, if we actually go to the e-text here, there's a stand, uh, standard reduction potential table. That's where I get all these informations. So you'll have the potential and the half reaction. Uh, you'll have this on the quiz and exam as well. So uh, we know uh, aluminum, um, Aluminum ions form aluminum. We have a negative 1.66 uh, volts, and uh, copper uh, ions with uh, electrons form to form uh, solid copper. We have a positive 0.34 voltage charge. And to determine whether uh, these these are the half reactions uh, written from this uh, oh my God. reaction. Um, for uh, you can either use oil rig or Leo Ger. It doesn't matter as long as you know the relationship between the redox reaction and the electrons. So for here, uh, lose electrons oxidation, gain electrons uh, reduction, or you can use uh, this. This is this, this is pretty much the same thing, um, and then we can get um, the this so this part is gaining electric uh, gaining electrons so this is uh, reduction this is half reaction is reduction and this is losing electrons so this is oxidation and to and we I like to use an ox red cat it's easy for me to remember uh, you can find whatever way you can remember but basically um anode is oxidation and cathode is reduction so this is the cathode and this is the anode from this um the potential of the intercell is uh the potential of cathode minus the potential of anode so if look at the chart here the potential of cathode is copper and the potential of anode is here so 0 0.34 minus negative 1.66, we get the put, uh, the standard cell potentials of this reaction. And however, I mentioned I like to use this equation instead of this. Um, the reason behind that is I, I'm kind of easy to get confused about the positive or negative of this. Uh, half reaction, positivity or negativity. And um, there's one more step for me to convert, like to relate the reduction reaction to cathode and uh, oxidation reaction to anode. So when I use this reaction, um, I, you can use, either use Leo Ger or oil rig, it doesn't matter. Um, after I write the half reaction, so the copper, uh, uh, copper ions form uh, copper solid. I mark I mark reduction. This is a reduction reaction because uh, from the from this I mark it as a reduction reaction, and then I relate the uh, from the table standard cell potential table. This is zero point three four. So uh, it doesn't matter the number here, like how many electrons, or how many coppers, as long as it's the same the electrons are the same side on the reaction. This is this is good to go. So this is 0 0.34, I don't need to make any changes. And then the other half um, reaction, uh, aluminum solid uh, forms aluminum ions and electrons. Uh, this is oxidation from the same thing, Leo Ger or oil rig, it doesn't matter. And from the, ta uh, from the standard cell potential table, we can see that it gives us this one. It's negative 1.66 volts, but it is the opposite of the actual uh, half reaction. So what I will do here, I flip it over. So so after I flip it over, sorry, this is the wrong format, but um, the aluminum ions actually on the right side, aluminum solid on the left side, it matches the half reaction here. So when you flip it over left and right, we flip the negativity or the positivity of the chart as well. So after I write it like this, I will I will take what this is from the uh, standard cell potential table, 
uh, take this voltage. So I use this formula. E naught cell equals the E naught reduction plus the E naught um, oxidation. So we just add this number and this number together, we get 2.00 volts. This is how I like to solve these type of problems personally, but this is uh, what was taught in the class. Either way, it's, uh, it's good, but I just like to use this to avoid conf uh, further confusion. Uh, I think so. Uh, some people think it's slower, it's faster, but I like to use this way. So after we got the E naught cell, the standard cell potential, we go back top here. If is the E naught cell is greater than zero, it is spontaneous, and if it's the E naught cell is less than zero, it's non spontaneous. So we got two point zero zero volts. E uh, obviously is uh, greater than zero, so this reaction right here, it's spontaneous. And thank you class, this concludes my um, little lecture about how to uh, uh, calculate cell potentials and determine the spontaneity of redox reactions. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please reply me in the discussion board. And thank you very much.